Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird mixed among the heathen, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolma from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And this is a response to the video named, Is the Media Cheering on Attacks Against Christians and Jews? Question mark. That was put up by Eat the Press on RT. Um, before I uh, play the video, I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of the definition of religion. It goes back to a Latin word, a Greek of Greek origin, Latin Greek, and uh, the word is religio, all right? And it, it literally translates to bind, to constrict, to tie up. So what is religion doing? It is, it is binding, constrict, constricting, tying up your mind with lies, with doctrines of men that have been fabricated. As I'm going to do an expose, Yahweh Ratazawa scripture, as we um, allow this video to play. So without any further ado. All right, folks, what if I told you that religious institutions are under attack, religious statues are being beheaded, defaced, toppled, and that was happening right here in the United States. Big news, right? Well, you're not seeing it on the media. Why, 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 why? RT's Natasha Sweet is going to tell us. A Catholic mission more than 200 years old burned to the ground and at least five other churches across the country were vandalized on the weekend of July 12th. But according to the Media Research Center, no major news network gave any coverage to these disturbing events. From the defacing of religious statues to setting fire to a 249-year-old mission on the weekend of July 12th, these events slipped through the fingers of major network evening newscasts. The Media Research Center pointing out that of the 270 minutes between ABC, NBC, and CBS for the weekend, no newscast mentioned anything about the attacks on the Catholic Church. Two statues of the Virgin Mary were defaced. Another with the word idol graffitied all over in Queens, New York. On so let's stop right there. The word idol, because it is an idol. And we were ordered not to have idols and not to pray to them, not to commit, you know, roughly paraphrased, you know, to, to make any images of anything in heaven or on earth and then worship it. Second of all, it's a false idol. It's not even a, 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 a accurate uh, uh, depiction or depiction of, of what Mary would look like. So let's go to the scriptures. All right, let's go to the scriptures. Um, I'm going to go to uh, scriptures that I can't, that I go to often. All right, there's always new people, but these are oldies but goodies and classics, and you all should know them. This is Hebrews 7 and 14. All right, and it says, For it is evident. That our Lord sprang out of Judah, which of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. In the book of Luke, the third chapter, and in the book of uh, Matthew, the first chapter, it gives you the lineage of, of, of the Lord. In Luke, the third chapter, I'm pretty sure, let me, in fact, let me, go, let me go look at it to be sure. It gives you the lineage of Mary. And Mary, just like her son, sprang out of Judah. All right. Yep, yeah, son of Jesse Obed. Yeah, so Luke, Luke three is giving you the the breakdown, just like I like, just like as I thought of Joseph and Mary. All right, and you know, and of the Lord, Matthew one and one is doing the same. So let's go back to Hebrews 7 and 14 again, one more time. 7 and 14. And it reads, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That's where they get the word Jew from. All right, out of Judah, the tribe of Judah. All right, who accurately will be called Judeans. All right, never, they were never really called Jews. That's an afterthought, you know, of, of, of actually a made up word that was created. Okay. But it says, 
of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priests. Now let's get a biblical description according to, to the Bible, Jeremiah 14 and 2, of what the Jews look like. All right. And as we let me pan up a little bit to Mary's face. And let's see if this image of Mary is depicting as the scripture saith. All right. It says, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2, Juno mourneth and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. The cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So right here, it's when, and then people will say, oh, the black meant this, it meant that. No, when you look that word up in the Hebrew, the word there is Kadar. And the word Kadar means dark skin. All right? Dark skin. It also mentions in the Bible on a number of occasions that the Lord and his father and his people for the you know had hair like the pure wool this does not look like a dark-skinned woman with pure woolly hair so they failed so the fact is is that they're wondering why this is happening what's happening is that Esau is being made bare and the people are are basically that's why there's all this 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 uh, controversy about who the Jews are and the, you know with them screaming uh, the, the created narrative of anti-Sem that they created when the man's name was Shem now if you said you were anti-Shemitic I would know what you were talking about 100% but there is no one in the Bible that was referred to as a, as a Semite although there are people in the Bible who are definitely Shemitic and came from the line of Shem alright Sem was a made up word to 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 uh to control the a social construct and a narrative that there's only one people and no truth being said that there are eight races on the earth today that came out of Shem there are eight Shemitic races today all right but only one is the chosen and it's not the people that are that are claiming it, claiming it but let's let the video play a little bit more July 10th at St Peter's Parish in Boston Massachusetts on Saturday July 11th. Yet another Virgin Mary statue was set on fire. On July 11th as well, a suspect rammed his minivan into the Queen of Peace Catholic Church in Florida, then reportedly setting the building on fire just before morning mass. No injuries were reported. One of Los Angeles' oldest Catholic outposts, the San Gabriel Mission, caught fire. Police are investigating if the... Let's stop right there. There's an attack on Judeo-Christian, which is basically the Catholic Church and... The, the, the religion of Ju Judaism. That's what the whole Judeo-Christian. Why? Because they whitewashed the Bible and made it them. And then they fabricated the Bible and created woman worship and the worship of Mary in the first place. There is no place in the Bible where you're actually told to bow down or to pray to Mary. The scriptures clear, tell you 100%. Let's go to Timothy. That there is but one mediator. All right. There is but one mediator between man and God. All right. But one. So let's let's look it up. I keep pushing in the wrong things. My fingers are thick, so lock you. And this is First Timothy two and five. All right. Let's see if there's any other way to get to the Father. All right? Because it also tells you in John, I think the 14th chapter 2, there's only one way. I'm, I am the light, the truth, or something to that effect. And you know, and the only way to the Father is through Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. But 1 Timothy 2 and 5, for there is one God, or power, that's what that word God means, and one mediator between God and men, the man, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right. And I'm looking for the part, the attachment of Mary, but you can't find it. Uh, this is Hebrews 12 and 24. And Yahweh Shai, the mediator of the new covenant. Wait, did it say Mary there? Nope. And Yahweh Shai, the mediator, the mediator of the new covenant and the blood of the sprinkling that speak of better things than that of Abel. So yeah, um, Mary's not mentioned. And that's another thing that you have to consider too. Let me, Salakia, let me 
get out of my chair and grab a book from my bookshelf behind me. And um, there's quite a few that I can grab, but I'm going to grab, let me choose one. with me a moment to lock you. This was totally done in the spirit. It wasn't uh, rehearsed. I didn't set everything up. I just started going in the spirit. But uh, I'm looking for a particular book. Found it. All right. Let me come on back, Salakia. They put all this stuff in front of my books, and now it's created an obstacle course just to get to it. This is a book called Tears of the Indians. All right. Being a historical and true account of the cruel massacres and slaughters of above 20 million innocent people. And guess who was the perpetrator of these crimes? Cristobal Colon, a.k.a. Christopher Columbus. All right. And his Catholic soldiers who had orders from the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is responsible for death, mayhem, destruction and the burning alive and the torture of, of millions and millions of people. Let's look at some of the imagery in the book. How they were cutting off hands and arms. You see that when he's dashing, he's burning them alive. 13 at a time for the in the name of the 12 apostles and the and the uh of and the savior he's got the baby by the feet dashing his head against the stones all right more torture and slavery more burnings and hangings all right um the, to the left there they were actually feeding them their own bodies you see, the, the, they, they made meat markets, butchery. They were just butchering. This was done by white Christian males, Catholic males. And by the way, the word Catholic means universal. And the Bible is not a universal book at all. Um, if it says that a, a picture has a thousand words, the images that I just showed you, I would highly suggest that you freeze, pause the video, and, and uh, screenshot it that you could keep it for a reference. And it came out of this book, which is a reprint, a Kissinger reprint, all right, about Bartholomew Delacasas and John Phillips. And it even has the actual writings um, and letters. Okay, some of them that were written. All right. Um, and it just goes on to tell you some of the most horrific and horrific stories of torture and blood and slavery, all ordained by the Catholic Church. So why would the Catholic Church be? And so you wonder why the Catholic Church would be under attack today when all this history is coming out. See, let's go to, uh, uh, in fact, let me, before I go to the scripture, let's see. Because this book was printed in the, in the 1500s, I believe. These letters were written. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these letters were written in the, in the, in the 1500s. Of the, uh, uh, of the atrocities and events that took place in the, uh, uh, s s s uh, in the 16th and 15th century. Here's the original cover of the book. All right. Massacres and slaughters. You see the old English, the old way they wrote things of Hispaniola, Cuba, Jamaica. All right. And then down there is printed in. See if it focuses. Salakia. And uh, come on, focus. Yeah, 1656. There it is. All right. So let's get a scripture. Because we may not even make it all the way through this video. Alright. Um, let's go to 2nd Ezra. Six and uh, twenty-seven. 
And it reads, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And that's the controversy of Zion that's going on. Because the who the real Israelites are is, is on the table now and being discussed on almost every, every media platform. And the, the truth that the Jewish people are not the Israelites is now going mainstream. All right. The scriptures clearly say it says that they're going to, uh, you know, complain of ungodly fathers and that they've inherited lies. So but you know what? Let's just let more of this video play and let them play uh, what I like to refer to as the villain victims. It's the same thing with people who are screaming anti the anti sim this and anti sim that. They're they're the victim villains because you have to understand when it connecting all these these both these slaveries and these atrocities, the ships that were created that that uh, that were that were owned during the transatlantic slave trade once the you know I don't know about before the uh, the captivity of the 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 Israelites in West in West Africa that were not Africans that were being sold mainly by other he, uh, uh, by the heathens. All right, there were some cases where Israelites sold Israelites, but for the most part, there was Hamites, other the Africans, uh, another dark race, doing business trade with uh, uh, with the Edomites, the the, the, the new Grecians, because they were calling themselves Greeks at that time, and the um, and the Ishmaelites. All right, and they show you that, and I always bring it up in the movie um, uh, Roots when you watch the original movie between the 40th and the 44th minute. They actually show you show you that, and that's and that's scriptural in Joel the third chapter, when the when the Hamites, the Africans, the real Africans, and the Ishmaelites, all right, you know some of the Arab people, so called, uh, were selling the Israelites to the uh, to the Edomites, who were calling themselves Grecians, all right. That 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 was fulfilled, and they showed you that in that very movie, all right. But uh, let's let a little bit of this play and you know and watch them cry uh victim when they're really the villains they are the villain victims incident was in fact arson local news reported bible way church of god in fort worth texas was robbed on the morning of july 11th according to police all the mirrors in the church were destroyed now, the San Gabriel Mission has set up a fire restoration fund with the hopes of reconstructing their historic church. Reporting for Eat the Press, Natasha Sweet, RT. All right, thank you, Natasha. And joining me now to discuss this uh, fake news by omission on the part of the mainstream media is the president of the Catholic League, my good friend, I'm so proud to say, Bill Donahue. Bill, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you, my friend. Well, thank you. You're one of the best guys in the business. Let me tell you, Steve. All right. Well, well, I appreciate that. Bill, you know, you and I have talked about this for years, unfortunately, and it's not really a double standard uh, when the media leaves out these stories. It's almost a hatred for Christianity in the media. Well, you know, there's no question about it. Look what's driving this in the first place. Uh, the media play a role in it. I'm not saying the principal role. This is the summer of hate, okay? It's not the summer of love. They started with a legitimately a concern over the, the, the murder of George Floyd. Which was okay, let's start right there, all right? That's another thing. We're going to go to Ecclesiastes and get the time and season for everything. And this is a time and season for Esau to be exposed. And that is what you're witnessing, all right? That is what you're witnessing. This is Jeremiah 16 and 9, and it reads, Oh, Yahweh, my strength and my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. And so they've inherited lies. They've inherited lies that they're white when they're really red, as you can clearly see. He's pink. He's red. He's in his flesh is not white. And they've said that they were the people of the Lord. And they're not. And they never were. The Bible describes the people of the Lord to a T. You all right? Almost to a point to where you can see the words. And I heard a rapper once say how his words were so clear. You could see them as he was seeing them. As he was saying them. I forget, you know, who that was. But it was true. Because as he was rapping it, you could picture what he was rapping about. All right? A um, couple more scriptures before uh, I shut it down. Let's go to... Uh, uh, 
I think it's Second Nazareth 41 or us or now hold on, let me see. What's that scripture I'm looking for? It's in Ecclesiastes 41 and 7, I believe. Yes, I was on point. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be a reproach for his sake. So what they're not telling you in this is that they're talking about, they, they mentioned Antifa and BLM and how they're not for black people and blah, blah, blah. Then he mentioned Chicago. Um, well, that part about they're not for black people is true. They're not for the, for the male patriarchy of the so-called black race. All right. The Israelites. All right. Um, Antifa is down with, with black BLM is down with black with uh, uh, Antifa, which is an anarchist group. And and just like the videos that were all over the Internet was showing you the main people that were defacing, destroying and spray painting all over idols and churches and buildings downtown Chicago and everywhere else around Babylon and around the world. Because they said this is a worldwide thing because Esau is being exposed worldwide. But the, a, a lot of the people and the majority that were doing it here in America were so-called white people. And the video coverage proves that. They were the defacers and destroyers. Why? Because I just read it. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be a reproach for his sake. And they know that they've inherited lies. Remember the statement that, that went viral from Maggie Cohen on, um, on, on uh, uh, Twitter. How she tweeted on uh, Instagram or Twitter, whichever one of those. How she put up the message that... Um, for for black people to declare their their Hebrew um, that the the that the the Semitic the true Semitic Jews were black well Shemitic and that for them to declare that heritage is not an act of hate but a, but a uh, but an act of correction on false history roughly paraphrased and it's true but you have to understand these people have gained un insurmountable amounts of wealth based upon those lies and it's just not and it's it's too hurtful and scary and and painful. For them to admit the truth. But it's even worse by not admitting the truth. Alright? Um, so let's go to uh, uh, finish this off with the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. I believe it's three. It's a time and season for everything. Because he called this the, the 2020 is the year of hate. Actually this is a year of prophecy. But hate is a part, is a part of it. Alright? Because a lot of prophecies will come in the past but this is Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 1 and it reads to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven all right and here it is a time to kill this is verse uh, uh, 3 a time to kill and a time to heal and a time to break down and a time to build up Esau's being broken down his structure being broken down but the Israelite fate is being built up all right and then as we go down to uh, verse 8, it says a time to love and a time to hate, a time to war and a time to peace. And it, basically the Lord said for when they say peace and safety, then certain destruction will be will come. And, and, and with all the hate that's going on is it's just being it's just the hate being projected back to people that gave nothing but hate. With that, I'm going to give all praises going on unto you. How about you? I was shy. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Wa ababa ba shalom.